In this video, we're looking at the equations from Tables Practice Module in Khan Academy. I just want to explain a couple of basics so you can get started. Here, um, they'll tell you that a table was generated using this equation right here. And of course, that varies and the, the format varies, but generally, they're giving you an equation and telling you that defines how the table operates. And then they probably want you to find missing values. Here, they want us to find f of 1 and then f of 5. So I just want to explain what those things mean so you can work your way through this. So first of all, the equation f of x, that means a function that's based on the variable x. So you can see here is the x variable in the equation. So we have 2x plus 10. And we're saying the value of that this expression right here is a function that depends on the input x and the variable, the letter you write in here is that input. Often f of x can just be thought of as y, right? Not f of y, sorry. But f of x is just another way of saying the y variable. So here we can connect these two because often y depends on x. So f of 1, they want to know, and f of 5. So literally we can rewrite this, so it's f of 1. Now the function depends on the x value when x equals 1. So it's 2 times 1 plus 10, which equals 2 plus 10, or 12. And then we have f of 5, same idea, right? f of 5 is the function when x is equal to 5. So 2 times 5 plus 10. You can see how nice this notation is. That's, oops, that's 20, right? Or 10 plus 10 is 20. We could just write y equals 20, but this actually tells you what the input was to get that result. It's very nice. And you can use the tables here to help as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you might notice that when I when I go up 4 here, my delta x is equal to 4. What does that mean? Well, delta y is going up by what? Well, from 16 to 24 is 8. So delta y equals 8. So I could also, on the table, go from 3 to 5. Instead of hopping up 4, I can hop up 2. And instead of going up 8 in the y, I would go up what? Well, I, I halved my x distance, so I half my y distance, and I'll go up 4 to 20, right? Just looking at the slope there. And that, that kind of intuition leads to the same answer that we got before. And we can go backwards, we can go down, right, by 2 on the x-axis, which would go down 4 on the y-axis, or the f of x-axis, to 12. So we can use the table as well on these. All right, so I hope that helped.